I'm Davey Weathercock, and this is Olive, the weather hen. We're here with the weather. We got a little help. We got Albert. Albert's our real weathercock. He's the real outsider here. I think you know Albert. He's the one who was carried away by the neighbor's hound one morning and came back the next day and spent the next six months under the house and never never was accepted again by the other roosters. Came back without his tail. He looked kind of like a weather hen. But he's actually he's actually the expert around here. Well, I've got more of an insider's view of the weather. And I got an overall view of the weather. But Albert, he's got the outsider's view. So let's Let's go out and talk to Albert. Let's go out and talk to Albert, Alan. Okay, let's, uh, uh, you and I will. We'll do that. Hey, so anyway, Albert, huh? Feather ruffle sates coming from the northwest. Marisa. Got to walk into it. Locust flowers practically blowing right off there. There's chestnut flowers blowing. The wind might blow the grass off. Trees just laid the asparagus down. Albert. Now this afternoon the wind stopped, Albert. What's it gonna do? It's not too cold. It you just it when the wind stops it feels warm enough. It you can lay down, you know, look up, it looks kinda tropical almost. Whoops. Yeah, beware of things come out of a blue sky. Weather doesn't behave. There's a time for everything, and now's the time for baby chicks. It's the season, and I've arranged for this date. We got them. Come, Do yours, Ali. Huh? Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've been too successful in convincing Olive that she hatched these things out of the golden egg. She's a little sus very sus suspicious. And here, a, a day later, they, they were the size of an egg. Now their heads are the size of an egg, and they, they can jump right out of this brooder thing. I don't know. I do not. And now that she's familiar with them, Olive is finding them a little annoying, you know, and she's got to... Put them in their place, I guess. Now they're out. They're out and around. They're flying. They're, they're in the wide world, and I'm it. I think they slipped some hawks in here already. Most of these things fly better than olive. Here's a first flight. A little aggressive, don't you think? Oh, man. Uh, Olive's established a little control, and she's got some respect and some tolerance, but these guys are going to... We're going to have to get them on out of here. Look, their feet are huge. We're ready. We're ready out there. But it's still a little too cold, and I don't know if I can drive him out of here. I can't catch him without breaking another leg. Look what the frost did to the heart nut. Well, tomorrow looks like it might. Is that a red sun? I don't know what to expect tomorrow or tonight. Is that a mushroom cloud or what? You know, it's a terrible beauty. I don't know what's coming. I give up. I quit. Good night. That was the weather. Look for something else to do. What is that? What are those streaks there? Hover. Clouds are awfully ominous. Here, rain, Albert. Did you thunk it? <laughs> I never would have known. Well, you know, we can use it in the bank. Let it rain. Let it rain. 